AMD just unveiled a brand new chipset and processor to the world. And I sat up all night to watch this. And I was excited. And I was happy. And then they started to talk. Full disclosure, I'm probably going to end up much poorer at the end of this video than in its beginning. Here, what we know. As we had seen last year, we have two family of high-end chipsets, X870 and the X870E. You will notice that AMD has decided to jump the X700 naming, probably to not sound like they are below Intel specs, which carries the name Z890. Obviously, you would know better. I would know better. But, but not everybody is, is like us. Other than the name, well... <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> we are dealing with identical chips. <laughs> the same chipsets we had last year. One year, one year of waiting, one year reviewing those motherboards, the X67. I reviewed 500 motherboards in the past eight years. We are having the same identical chipset than last year. <laughs> ah, ah, I need to sleep. We are still dealing with the 7 watts dual promontory 21 chips with the same amount of low grade PCI lanes. Basically, the incoming X870 powered motherboards will offer only very slight incremental upgrades and very few additional features. I mean, we are going to have a standardized Thunderbolt 4 support, which is awesome. One year, one year or USB 4. Standard. Awesome. Awesome. And some other little changes such as Wi-Fi 7, which will replace Wi-Fi 6E. <laughs> I want to be fair. There is somewhat of a difference if you look at the X870 chipset when you look at its predecessor, the X670. It now can properly use every PCIe 5.0 lanes available on the processor, uh, which, you know, the X670 could not. And it begs a question. Last year, we had the X670E, which provided PCIe 5.0 support for the, uh, for the GPU and stuff like that. And we had the cheaper X670 version, which were, you know, more focused on PCIe 4.0 standard and what it could do. But now, the X870E can you know have access to the 24 PCI 5.0 lanes of our Ryzen 9000, but so can the X870. So the big question is, why would you buy an X870 e chipset in the first place? Now the next big thing is obviously the Ryzen 9000 processor, codenamed Granite Ridge, powered by its new Zen 5 architecture, which will be backward compatible to all AM5 CPU socket equipped motherboard, and which apparently will be around until at least 2027, which is the only good news I've heard yesterday. But again, it is uh, basically uh, another refresh version of the 7000 series. And when I say refresh, I am being generous. On paper, we're dealing with almost identical specs than seen on the 7000 series. Same number of cores, threads, identical clocks. But apparently, and after what AMD claimed yesterday, the architecture improvements as well as bandwidth increase between individual cores and AI improvement can provide up to 16% performance gain compared to its predecessor. And I usually cut those claims by half. So we're looking at, in the real world scenario, about five to 10% performance increase, which is in par with what Intel did every time they try to improve the existing architecture. And here AMD is clearly doing that as well. But most importantly, I think they really missed what we were all expecting out of the Ryzen 9000, meaning more PCIe 5.0 lanes. The old problem between the Z790 from Intel and the X670 uh, chipsets from AMD, the old issue is that PCIe 5 lanes are great, but they're not enough to properly uh, exploit them on the GPU side, which you know requires 16 PCIe 5.0 lanes and the M.2 storage. AMD is a bit better than Intel on that, but we're still far from having a full-fledged, complete PCIe 5.0 uh, enabled motherboard, which can take two video cards, say, and three or four M.2 um, uh, PCIe 5.0 enabled uh, memory slots. Memory, 
memory sticks. But one thing I can guarantee to you, one thing was going to increase is MSRP. I can, I can even see a 10% inflation on that processor, which is a Ryzen 7000, but for the name change, you'll be paying more. That's what's gonna happen. I am going to say this as candidly as I can. I have seen AMD thriving to innovate the market and the PC industry year after year, at least since 2016. And I've been a big proponent of that. I'm a big fan of this. But this year, the specs of the new product they're releasing are so close, identically close to what they uh, uh, released last year. It, it's, it's painful. I'm not gonna change my entire build. I'm not gonna change processes or motherboards just because it's gonna give me a USB 4, which was optional last year, I'll grant you that, but was also very much provided on X670 powered motherboards. Look, I'm gonna make this as painlessly as possible. I can predict you one thing. If you already have an X670E or X670 powered motherboard with a Ryzen 7000 processor, do not lose sleep on what is about to come from AMD this year because in effect you are already with an X870 powered motherboard and a Ryzen 9000 processor.